heard today, Sister Amy. Uh, I'm just going to keep you a second. Um, I've been around long enough over the years. I've seen a lot of transitions. I guess that's what happens when you're about 60 years old and been in church all the time. Um, and and I, I've seen some things, and I want you to listen to this wisdom just for a minute, please. I've watched churches drift off into an antiquity. Finally, uh, the church that I grew up in finally got to where there was only just a handful of people left. To, for a church that, mind you, at one time ran well over 300 people. And uh, simply just because they were un unable to, uh, and this, this happened 20 years ago, 15 years ago. Unable to reach the generation that was coming up. And <clears throat> there has to be the ability to pour in to the younger generation and learn how to, to work with them. And to learn how to blend your church. To be able to see what God is doing, not just for this time, but what he's going to be doing. And as frightening as that is to people my age, and believe me, it is, because we don't always understand anything otherwise. Because to us, what we were taught some things were compromise. You know, if you didn't, if you didn't lay down the discipline, if you didn't, and I always, you know, you, some of you know me. I've worked on my facial expressions. I have tried. People still tell me today, Katie said, I think, think you're mad. I said, how's it coming? I'm not mad. But let me tell you how serious God is about this, all right? Do you remember the, the children of Israel, when they come out of Egypt, they had this problem, and their problem was they were still carrying some of the scars of their past. We call it a slave mentality. There's all kind of reasons why, but I'm not hear what I'm trying to say by this. But Moses was only able to take him so far, right? right? And they had to, to die out, and then the young people went went over. Now that doesn't seem fair. And let me say this in, in saying that it doesn't have to be that way. Amen. Right. Yes. But somewhere along the line, and you have to read the story, Moses and Aaron got screwed up in that whole process because when the spies come back, they cried along with everybody else and ripped their clothes. They had just as much problem as, as everybody else did. And that's where ministry has to learn that we have a responsibility to bring everybody together. And I, I work, I'm working on this. And, and some of the, the people here know this. And Amy's my administrative pastor on staff, and I appreciate her. We have others on my pastoral team. And I want them to be called pastor. I want them to, to have that designation because I want the respect that going to them, that honor, I had a couple of people ask Brad, because uh, Brad is a, uh, he's helped me out in my uh, ministry of, of being a, a chaplain, and he's come on board in my same district. They couple of people asked, well, are you a pastor? And I just finally, because Brad was hum and I said, Brad's with me. Right. And I hope he didn't mind that. But, I've watched Brad do what he's been doing with these kids, and I said, Brad, this is something that I feel like God's calling you to do. Yes. And we're we're trying our best yes. to honor yes. our elders. Brother Larry, you notice we've, we've moved him up? Yes. And we're trying our best to work with the younger generation. But what we need is your love, yes. commitment, yes. and cooperation. Yes. So that this church will not 
dissolve as pastor gets older. But we'll have a vibrant future together. Yes, reaching the generation for Christ. That's what we desire. That's what we want. And I, I, I just heard her heart today. And Amy, I, it didn't go on that years. So you want me to spend more time with the kids? I got it. I got it. I, got it. I get on my nerves, but I got it. Yeah, eight is enough. Please. Bow your heads. Father, thank you for your blessings. Thank you for the move of the Spirit that we have felt today, the healings and deliverance that you Lord have brought to us. Bring us, Lord, into that place that you want us to be. That place of surrender, that place, God, that, that where everything else becomes second to your perfect will. And help us to find your perfect will. Yes. So that we can see as many as possible make it and cross those gates of her right. streets of gold. In Jesus' name. And all of God's children say, Amen. shake hands and be friendly. God bless everyone.